Hey, buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking the helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Hello and welcome to Dead Rising, and uh, well, we're gonna have a blast here. Uh, zoom in, zoom. Yep. <sighs> so basically, if you didn't know, Dead Rising is a zombie survival game, and I shall be doing it as my first playthrough. Now I have played it before, contrary to what my uh, I played it and completed it. Try to what my gamer score says because uh I just did it on a different Xbox and it wasn't connected to online, so I have to I want to redo it and get all the achievement not all the achievements just complete the game. And right now I'm trying to get my uh, PP up, otherwise known as prestige points, and uh, it. This means I can get a few moves quick, quicker than normal, like the, uh... Oh, how is that no genre? Are you being serious? What an unlucky lad. Let's not do anything, just watch and take pictures. Uh, let's try and get this viral on, uh, Instagram. Uh, yeah, great. Um, but yeah. Oh, school bus, no! But, yeah, we can't skip the spit, I just want to skip the next cutscene. So we don't really want to be doing that. I'm pretty sure that is a horror scene. But, um, yeah. This bit's a bit boring and I can't skip it without skipping the next bit. So, yeah, I'll be starting from level 1, which uh, will be good. <laughs> Because I, I like playthroughs where they're bare bones, not like uh, Resident Evil 4 playthrough where they it's a second playthrough, so they've got everything. I I prefer stuff to be as bare minimum. <laughs> I want that to come from the loading screen. I so want that to come from the loading screen. Yes. Now that's how you. Get I wonder how that blew up actually. Seeing that all that's around are zombies and people trying to, uh, well, escape the zombies, not really trying to kill each other. This ain't like uh, most zombie games nowadays, but they take into account insanity from just regular survivors. I do plan on taking on some uh, the interesting um, and doable psychopaths, like the gu gunman, gunshotman person. Uh, oh no! Where you go, woman? You're going nowhere. Save her! Quick! Ah! I'm sorry, but how? 
How are you stuck in that situation? Look how slow they're going. Oh, no genre. I <sighs> yeah, you throw the gun. She waited a bit. Is that zombie gonna fall off the edge? She's waited a bit too long. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's hilarious. Let's take a picture of it. Oh. So, ah, uh, time to be quiet again. Can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. All right. Whoa! Get us back down to that rooftop. I know I'm going to get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, you came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well, if it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Frank doesn't really catch on much, does he? <sighs> okay, okay. That's why I don't get mostly zombie films. Uh, how they don't really understand the concept of zombies. You know, not like uh, there's been enough zombie material out there. <sighs> Evil person. You should really kill him as soon as you can, but uh, you kill him in the end. Which is a big spoiler to say already, but um, yeah, I gotta remember to save. I've already done this once before, and I got uh, two hours in, and I forgot to save. So um, this is what I'm doing. Um, I'm just redoing all the lost material I've done. So um, 
yeah, basically this is one of the first of its kind, uh, zombie survival game. I think it was one of the first titles for Xbox. Pretty sure it's an exclusive, exclu exclusive, unlike its uh, predecessor. Um, but yeah, it's a single player, and yeah, it's pretty. One thing I would get used to is using RT instead of LT to use stuff. This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? Very hungry people. Yup. There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. Ah, the, the main reason I want to get my PP up early is so I can jump and kick, which you can't do as it is. Uh, oh, he's got a shotgun. I never noticed that. I wonder if he drops it. Uh, let's get Is he only got drama because he's got a shotgun? But, yeah. I, these people are all going to die in a few minutes, you know. As as you do, as you can probably expect anyway. Hello, Mark. Nice drama there. I'll probably delete all these photos so I can try and get that face of that guy in the loan screens. Oh, this is a cute argument. I'm sorry, but how weak can you be that, what, a 70-year-old wound knocks you off your feet? <laughs> oh, and how crazy can you be? <laughs> she should be a psychopath, I'm just saying. To 
the one person he calls. Uh, but yeah. This is probably going to be this is a game where the actual time of the game is set. Like, I can't say I'm going to have this many hours. But, uh, I can say I'm going to have fun. Um, it is a very, um, it is a game where if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get punished. Not as badly as some games, like uh, Dark Souls, but, um, there, it's not really, you have to keep replaying the beginning so you can get your level up. Oh, again. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that to be mini points. But oh well. Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. Hmm. No. As long as those things are in the mall, we'd better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. Uh Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? What sort of pictures? Hmm? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Plain hard to get. So yeah. Fortunately for me or not, there's not a lot of talking. A lot of times it's just text. And this is Otis. Remember the face of Otis. And yeah. And um, we're gonna get our PP up straight away because there's two survivors out here. Uh, we've, we, can, we, can, we can skip that. There's nothing important. Hey, it's Jeff who is looking for his long lost wife. I'll say long lost. I, d I don't know how this guy. Well, how this guy and his wife can't find each other. Honestly. He's over here yelling, yeah? And then you got his wife all the way over there. And none of them realise it. I mean, he did have glasses on, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he had glasses on too, so. Good old Natalie as well. Lovable mug. 
And there's Jeff. Look at him run. Running like a man. Fantastic. Yeah. Get my level up. Yeah. Oh. You get random stuff each time. I never knew that. Last time I got the kick first. Anyway. Yeah, they both got glasses on. Strangely, strangely similar for a uh, husband and wife. Um, but yeah. So, survivors are always good to rescue because they give a lot of PP, and that will get us up a lot. I mean, first just uh, rescuing them, like getting them on board is good, and then uh, rescuing them like this gets you even more. I think it's like double half the time. Uh, yeah, so apparently Natalie will never forget about this in her life. I wonder how we just left them there, like how long they actually stay running up there, because there's actually like, no zombies that come in here, except for like over there. Oh, new skill. You must have the zombie right. Oh, that is so irrelevant. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this is going to be a lot harder than I thought then. Just unlocking stuff from level 1. I mean, extra stock is nice, but, um. I have much. <sighs> okay, let's hang up on Otis accidentally. Um. Don't need that. Uh, is that anything over here? Nope. <laughs> oh Otis, just getting angry at all this random stuff, but it's... Ah. Come on, I want to be able to jump soon. There's a few gameplay flaws like a... Like that. Jesus Christ, like like with uh, Otis and his phone. Uh, yeah. And the way you eat stuff is a bit dodgy. You should wait till you get to the baguette. 